I don't put my views. I always feel that as a playwright, I don't, I don't have my views are not important because you're not reading a play to find out about me. That is a bit silly, right? You're reading a play to find out about these characters and how they resonate with you and how you analyze their their lives and their you know the stories and all that. So, um, so what I did was to make sure that I gave them believable kind of facets in terms of how they deal with their work, their 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 home, their backstory. So, for example, someone like Yati, she has a backstory where she has some kind of relationship with her grandmother. She has a backstory where she wants to be a singer, where she's actually a very good nurse, but she's also a bit foul mouth. She's very religious, but she's also very um, straight-laced about certain things. So it's all these kinds of complexities or dualities that I wanted each character to have um, and how they kind of then play it out. So the same Yati who at four in the morning can't bear to see uh, Radha in pain calls her friend and gets a joint for her. It's the same Yati who also calls and reports that somebody's smoking. You know what I mean? It's like, is that believable? But last time people would say, no, no, it's not believable. That its character is inconsistent. But inconsistency has become part of our life where we can be nurturing at one minute and we can also be harmful, you know, or, or damaging the next minute. We can feel supportive of something that one minute and we can feel totally unsupportive of it the next. And I think that it's part of a, a very today um, kind of a fractured, you know, um, existence that we live. Have you ever considered adapting your play into a drama serial or a short film for public television airing? Yes, 